Hey there guys, how are you all doing? My name is Hitching Games and we're back with another video of Assassin's Creed Unity Review Part 2. Now we are going to be today doing two trailer reviews in one video. That's amazing, I know, but we are going to accomplish that with me and my friend Pazab, always the one and only. Now he's going to be flicking through these images, showing you guys, and I'm going to be talking through it, just telling you guys about the trails and what happens in the trails. Now, the first trail we are going to be doing is Assassin's Creed Unity official trailer, which is three minutes long, and then the last trailer, which is only two minutes max, we are going to be doing Assassin's Creed Unity Arno Master Assassin trailer. Now, that's a more recent one, but it's only two minutes, but there's some good footage in there, but we're going to be talking about that last. Okay, so in Assassin's Creed Unity, the official trailer, the first thing you see is an old man walking walking in this like little dungeon or castle area with his guards by his sides having the review. But then after that you can see a few images of and the snapshot views of him while walking out of the castle, you see the four assassins, which my friend will bring up now. Now, as you can see, there there is a variety of assassins. There's two that look the same, but I, but all oh, three in the background of him, they're not really a part of the story mode. They're only on the court, which I'll talk about in a minute. And uh, the main character in the whole game itself is the guy in the blue jacket, as you can see, looking all mysterious with no weapons holding him. Now, his name is Arno, but I've forgotten his last name. What is his name again? Aro Dorian. There we go. And he will have a big, big, big impact on the story, and we'll be learning more about him in the game when it comes out on the 28th of October itself. Now, you see them in the trailer it's on the rooftops of Arno, and then those three assassins walk up behind him. Then it goes into a snapshot of the crowd running, running. Uh, to the guards and overpowering them, and then two of the assassins run through, run through the crowd, they climb up the wall and open the bridge or when what's it called? Uh, like the little pathway thing through the castle, so you, you go on. Then they go through the, the assassins go through the building, killing everyone in the path and the way, and then and then it goes into the castle scene when. They go, they go to the guards, and it, the music gets really dramatic, and they go kill them all. And then you see a snapshot, and of one of the assassins using a brand new hidden blade weapon. Now this weapon is sort of looks like a mini bow. Am I right? It looks like a mini bow, but just, like the main thing you can see is like in the middle, you can sort of see like where the arrows probably be, and you can see so, like, the wooden bits like together. But in the trailer, you'll see how it's like how they work it. It's a really lethal weapon with the hidden blade on that side and on the other wrist or hand. Now, now at the near the end of the trailer, they kill all the guards and basically the the general threatens them to blow up the whole place high sky. I know it's kind of bonkers, isn't it? But then Arno comes up behind him, and another assassin kills him too. Got the hidden blade and puts out the light. They don't kill him. They might, they might kill him. Who knows? No, I'm only joking. They just—they don't kill him. They walk away and they let the French Revolution and the people themselves kill him. And that's where you see them with heads on a spike. Now that's pretty painful, isn't it? But this image is from the gameplay trailer of when you play it, but I just thought I'd like to show this image because that's what basically happens to them anyway. Now you can see in the back, that's the main guy with the really ugly wig that looks like a woman, really, which is really, really creepy. And that's the end of that trailer, but then, then once again you see them on, on the castle wall looking really epic with the music. And then we move back to the logo. Whew! Well, my fault. Now, we move on to the next trailer. AC Unity, Arnold, Master Assassin. Two minutes. Now, this trailer 
it's quite interesting because you see a lot of parkour and some references to Brotherhood with Ed Sheeran. Now, when you see the trailer, I've kind of forgot, it's a more recent one, so I, uh, people are quite interested about this. And we have seen a new character in this, which I'll talk about in just a sec. And you see um, Arno on the rooftops, and there's an execution about to happen, which you see him doing a lot of parkour on through the rooftops and all that. Then, after all that parkour and stunts, he goes down into an alleyway full of well, people, and then he's right at the back of the, of the massive, massive, large crowd. And he goes running through and killing all the guards. And sort of like, sort of similarities to the um, Brotherhood. If you see the Brotherhood trailer, you know what I'm on about because it does look very similar. You can look at both the trailers. Then you go, then after, back to the trailer. He goes up to the place where they kill them all. Kills, stabs all the guards and kills the main person. Then we move on to see the new character, the mystery woman, which is a woman in it. I know, very rare, 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 rare. All right, so then you see this mysterious woman, and as you could see on her neck, that is the Templar logo. Now, when he sees that necklace, he gets out his sword and then gone. But that's that's where you're on. All he does is just cut the ropes, so then them two fight, and then that's when you see them two with their hoods down. Now, you might not see um, Arno with his hood down, but he doesn't have very long hair like a girl, which they do them this. Don't, don't ask me why I'm not a history teacher. And you, you see them two fighting, but I don't know what's about that. But them two have like a proper connection. I think have a connection that probably might be love with each other, I don't know. We will find out when the game comes out, but you need yourself to give us any more information about the trailer itself. And there's another image of her with the Templar logo on, looking well like a Templar to be honest. And last but not least, my friend just moves on to the final image. You can see a lot of stuff that you can't do. Now, let me just say, give you a little view. Alright, so as you can see here, there are some different images and objects around here. Now, you can see there is a, is a figure or a statue of some sort, 16 inch of figurine of Arno, with holding the French flag with his AC logo on, and standing on some dirt or something with his sword out holding the French flag. And then on the left, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it says collector's box and it's got some collector's edition items and or CDD or DVDs on the left which would be pretty cool and then they've got on the right of Arno an art book with probably some really cool art images and books of some sorts in that book there then at the bottom if they I think I don't I'm not really quite sure but would you say that's a music box? I would say Yeah, like well, some sorts like replicas or some sorts of stuff, but I don't know about that, but I'll just try and find out what they are for you, and I will leave them in the comment below. And as well, you cannot forget the official soundtrack of AC Unity, because everyone loves that, and it's really the best to be honest. And as well, in the bag, you get plus two in game missions, over 45 minutes of gameplay, and it is pretty, it looks pretty cool. I'll have to try that. Now, this, I'm showing you this for a reason. I'm not going to confirm anything, but if you guys want me to do a giveaway of this, comment below, give a like and a favourite, and don't forget to subscribe. And I will be doing a Q&A video with my friend Razab, so if you are confused with any of this whatsoever, ask questions below, you feel free to. You don't have to be scared of asking any questions, but if you are an Assassin's Creed fan, I think this is the video for you. Now there's one more thing before I end the video and now I want to be talking about my subscribers. Now recently I've noticed that I've been going up and down, up and down, like to 43, 41 and all of them. Now I've got 42 subscribers at a minute and I only need 8 more subscribers 
So if you guys want to see my special 50 subscriber video, I would suggest subscribing so I can get 50. But I'm going to tell you now what I will be doing. But my plans might change. So like, the first thing I will be doing is a Minecraft figurines giveaway, which I will showcase or show images on my Twitter if you have a look on there. And as well, I will be doing my first ever live stream on Call of Duty Black Ops 2. But I will be releasing a teaser, teaser video or trailer either way, but showing all sorts of stuff that I will be doing. I will go. I will be leaving in the comments on that video of who I might be playing with, or like going on with on Call of Duty. But I, there is always some people that have joined the COD crew. Or I made a crew on Call of Duty that shouldn't have joined. And there's some from Crewcraft and some from like uh, other games I've played that I've finally got Call of Duty on. Now I have a pretty low level on there, but I'll talk all about that when I do the teaser trailer. So okay guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been great. It has been a long video and a lot of talking. And this has been me and my friend who's up say goodbye to Zab. Goodbye. And that is me and Zab Hitching Davis done. We will be doing a Q&A video as again, as I've already said. Yeah. So see you later guys, thank you for watching. Peace.